We have been having a series of presentations on the concept of research critique um, and then the research critique of the various sections of research reports of, or research thesis. So in the previous few presentations, I have been discussing research critique of the introductory part or chapter one of a research report or research thesis, the uh, literature review or background section, and then the methodology section of a research thesis or a research paper. The current presentation is aimed at um, discussing the role of research critique in the data analysis uh, and interpretation chapter or chapter four. Now, to recall the definition of research critique, generally research critique is an integral part of the research process um, as a scientific method of knowledge. And the aim of research critique is actually to have an appraisal of the aims, the process, and the outcomes of research undertaking. The focus of research critique is actually on the uh, an analysis, an objective and critical analysis of the academic value and strengths and weaknesses of, an, of a research undertaking. And this is generally presented in research theses and reports and papers. Now, coming to the focus of this particular presentation, uh, generally the uh, chapter four or the data analysis findings and results uh, section. Uh, it has been named variously, but generally the uh, focus of this chapter, chapter four, is on data analysis and findings or results and interpretation. So there are some subsections generally in this uh, part or this chapter, and these include the introduction, the review of research questions, hypotheses, objectives, then we have um, methodology, uh, a brief summary of the methodology, the presentation of findings, results with reference to research questions, uh, hypotheses and objectives, the organization, the elaboration, um, analysis and interpretation of themes if we have qualitative data, and the organization, tabulation, analysis and interpretation of quantitative data in this chapter, and then we have this component, this section called discussion of findings or results. Generally findings are referred to when we have qualitative research and qualitative data and results generally in quantitative res uh, researches. And then we have conclusion or summary of chapters. Now, what does a research critic do when they are critically looking at and, and evaluating uh, these components of the research um, of the data analysis findings and interpretation chapter or chapter four. So here are some questions that generally the um, evaluators of research ask when they are conducting a critical review of the chapter four or in other words critique of chap chapter four. The first one related to the introduction. So generally uh, like all other chapters, chapter four has an introduction or a beginning. And so the critique should uh, ask this question, does the chapter have a succinct introduction? Is the introduction um, a, a good, a brief, but comprehensive introduction to the chapter and to the re remaining parts of the, uh, of the chapter? Then, uh, review of research questions, hypotheses, and objectives. So we also need to have um, to actually re to, to include the research questions, hypotheses, and objectives um, in the beginning of, of chapter four. And so the question that the research critic will, uh, will ask at this stage is, is there a review or recapitulation actually of the research questions or hypotheses and objectives. So generally, research questions and objectives uh, are part of qualitative studies generally, and hypotheses are part generally of the quantitative studies. Uh, then brief summary of research methodology. 
the research examiner or evaluator will also look critically at the question is a brief summary of the main highlights of the research methodology uh, um, included. So although we have a full chapter of research methodology, the, the third chapter generally, but here we need to have to just give an, uh, a kind of uh, just highlight the main um, research design and the main data collection and analysis uh, processes here. And so the research critic will look at, uh, at whether the, this is included in this chapter or not. Then comes the presentation of findings, results with reference to research objectives and or questions or hypotheses. So um, the critic will look whether the, the findings in qualitative studies and the results generally in quantitative studies uh, or both if we have mixed method researches uh, are these results presented in, a, in an organized way, keeping in view the research objectives and questions and hypotheses, or if the findings or results are presented in a haphazard and disorderly manner. That will actually decide the quality of the, of the, of the findings in this section. The next is the organization, elaboration, analysis, and interpretation of themes for qualitative data. So if the data is, the, uh, if, if the research is qualitative in nature and the data is qualitative, or, or, or if a part of the research is qualitative, the research critic will look at the organization, elaboration, and analysis, and interpretation of themes. So for example, they will ask questions such as, are the are themes organized in line with research questions and objectives? Have themes been elaborated with, with relevant quotes or data? Have findings reflected in been reflected in themes been put into to, to critical analysis? So it's not just that the findings uh, in the themes are presented, but there should be critical analysis as well of the kind of findings with reference to the context in which these findings have, these, uh, findings have come out. Are themes followed by a requisite interpretation? Again, it's not just that uh, uh, the, the findings are presented, but also that they are interpreted by the researcher for the reader. Then um, if we have quantitative studies or if there is part of the study or the data that is quantitative in nature, in that case, uh, we need to ask questions related to the organization, the tabulation, the analysis and interpretation of quantitative data. So questions such as are the quantitative data presented um, in an organized way through tabulation diagrammatic representation or is that not the case? Are data adequately analyzed, keeping in view the requirements of the research, uh, objectives, questions, and hypotheses? Is there an adequate analysis and interpretation of the data or results? So again, the quantitative data needs to be, to be presented in an organized way in line with the research objectives or hypotheses or research questions. Um, and if they are haphazardly presented with, without reference to the kind of structure or organization uh, or the uh, conceptual or analytical framework of the thesis, that will be considered as the weak point of this particular chapter. Lastly, uh, the discussion of findings and results section. So is there a discussion section? Uh, in, in generally, in uh, in most uh, in many cases, a discussion section is a part of the um, of, of chapter four, the data analysis, findings, results, and interpretation chapter. But in some cases, um, some institutions or in in some cases, some journals might want this in chapter five as well. But if it is a part of chapter four, so first of all, the research. Uh, critic will look at uh, look where 
uh, whether the discussion or the funding uh, uh, section is there. So then they will ask the questions such as, is there a discussion of the funding results with reference to the conceptual theoretical basis of the study? And secondly, the conclusion or summary of the chapter. Is there an overall summary and or summaries of sections of chapter four? So good, generally good chapters will have summaries of the various sections inside the chapters and also um, an overall summary towards the end of, uh, of the chapter or the section. So if that is the case, that will be considered as a strength of this chapter. And if that is not the case, um, that could be then interpreted as a possible shortage in the presentation of the chapter. And lastly, uh, but not, but, but also very importantly, is the language presentation format and style. The research critic will also look at the quality of language, the accuracy of language, the accuracy of the presentation, the format and style. Is the language used correct and appropriate? Are presentation, format and style adequate and in line with the academic writing norms.